31 days until transfer, thank God. What is it with you, counting the days? We got it good here. Doesn't get any easier than this. Yeah, except for the fact that we're completely surrounded by God knows how many monsters and demons. This just ain't right. I can't believe we even built a base out here in this other dimension or wherever the hell we are. Relax, the sweep of five mile radius on a daily basis. They must take out a good hundred of those pain tangs every time. Just the wildlife, man. After we nuked the bastards, Quake's military-minded baddies went into hiding. They aren't going to tangle with Uncle Sam again anytime soon. Did you hear that Congressman Benton on TV pushing for bringing civilians here? And that's just typical, ain't it? We trash the Earth and we want to move on to the next tourist attraction. So we can trash that too. A lot of good all that talk about saving the environment did. They never took it far enough. Yes, Reno at Slipgate Junction, 348. Got one coming through. Middle-aged Latino on a small vehicle. Jay Torres. Security clearance clear. Sound them through. And yeah, how you doing today, Mr. Torres? Okay, we can waive the security check, I suppose. Vehicles beyond this point, and I'll need to see your military ID and security card. What the hell are you talking about? I was not given a security card. Well, then we got problems. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna shoot this thing. You have just eaten my last dollar, Mr. Peach. Yeah, can't wait to get home to Chicago. I wonder how Aunt Harriet is doing. Lieutenant Johnson! What are you doing? Oh, B -B Phil, how, how are you doing? How am I doing? What do you mean? You back away from the peace soda machine, Lieutenant Johnson. You just back off. I know what's going on. I know who's been jamming their quarters in it. Who, me? Y you got me all wrong. You know how I feel about my peace, Lieutenant Johnson. I can't function without my peace soda. Five times. Five times I woke up in the past two weeks and the machine was out of service. It made me crazy. I, I understand. It's okay, really. I, I was just looking over the selection. You just behave yourself. Slacking off, huh? We're waiting for Sergeant Major Moore to come back. By the way, did they patch through that call to you? Call? What call? It better not be those damn vacuum cleaner salesmen again. I already bought two of those evil things. They chewed up one of my rugs. It was sacrilegious. Sacrilegious, I say. One of my rugs with a pretty crisscross pattern. I mean, shell of a man, Corporal Smith. A shell of a man. No, no. It's about a civilian on the grounds. He mentioned you by name. Seems they're having a tough time verifying a security clearance. A civilian? I'm a military man. I don't know any civilian. Except my auntie. She doesn't travel much. 
bad knee. Some ex-Navy SEAL, Hispanic-like. Oh, him! I forgot all about it. What's wrong with you guys? You're supposed to remind me of these things. Get on the ball, do some push-ups, do some drills. I'll take care of it. Better get a chimichanga out of there. Look, I can't verify nothing, okay? We're gonna give you a national let's go back to the slipgate and you can get your story straight with the boys of Richmond. And how do you think I got here, huh? Magic? Why don't you radio them and find out for yourself, you idiot? Hey, I'm trying to do my job here. I don't need no lip from you. Hey! What's going on in here? I see the same crates that have been sitting here for the past week. They're unsightly. Get it taken care of. I've got to start kicking some asses. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Don't apologize. Yes, sir. Don't say not that. I'm trying to think here. A man's got to think. I came here for something. What was it? Well, maybe I came over here to... Shut up! How am I supposed to concentrate if you keep blabbering your mouth? I need silence. I need peace. You're supposed to be cleaning up in here, too. Mopping up. It doesn't smell like a Carolina pine forest in here, I'll tell you that for nothing. I don't care if you're the goddamn Pope! You kiss your mother with that mouth. Oh, now you want to bring my mama into this! Lieutenant Phil, finally! That's Major Phil. Top of the morning to you, Major Phil. I hear you take leave today. You will be well missed, sir. Stop sucking up. I'm having a bad hair day that just keeps getting worse. Might I understand you're giving this man a hard time. He doesn't have a security card, sir. Yeah, is this some kind of crime? There's killers walking the streets. There's hoods selling drugs to children. There's third world countries mistreating their people and separating families. There's reruns of the Brady Bunch still playing from a hundred years ago. This man's done nothing wrong. Leave him alone. I'll take care of it. You go tend to your duty. With all respect, Major, you are aware of the very strict guidelines. Yeah, we don't seem to be communicating. Let me put it another way. You either disappear, or I got one word for you guys. He's all yours, Major! I see you can be very persuasive. It's part of my charm. It's been five years. It's a long time. Yeah, you're still wearing the same clothes. Jesus. If you were having financial problems, you should have come to Papa Phil. I could have hooked you up with some fashionable apparel. I hope you at least showered in the past five years. If not, you probably stink. And in that case, I don't blame the soldiers for wanting to send you back. No fear, I just have the same sense of fashion. Yeah, dark and morbid. You should try for some happier colors, like Pio's. You are not one to talk about the changing of clothes. What do you mean? This suit's brand new. It was just pressed with TLC. I heard you were coming a few days ago. I also heard some other things. Like you were having bad dreams about Shubby. Shubby? Yeah, Shubnegaroth, the hell mother! Well, don't you worry about it. God, I know. I had chubby chumps flying all over me. It was the most disgusting experience of my life. Well, aside from sitting next to Billy Carpenter in the sixth grade who ate his boogers sometime. I made a choice to come here. I feel as though I left a part of me here. I feel like I must face my demons if I'm ever to move on. I'll take you to your room there. We have one set aside. It even comes with a present. Compliments of General Blake. Zachary? Is he here? No. Last time I knew he was on vacation in Maui. He racked up four stars since then. He's a very important man. Boy, I've been meaning to ask you, how did you manage to take on armies all by yourself? Yeah, well, it's not like they all attacked me at once. And how did I manage? I don't know. It's hard to explain. You had to be there. It's a crossroads. It's a choice. It's sink or swim. Yeah, I'm scheduled to leave for home in a few hours. Come on, let me show you your room. You've got a roommate too, but don't sleep in the nude. He's a very lonely man. 
Why do I not like the sound of that? must be at war with yourselves because half of you is human. Those green ones don't like us. Those grunts don't like anyone. At least they aren't quite so useless with the drugs we're pumping through their veins. Lighter on their feet, but I dare say it hasn't done much for their intelligence and ability to play nice. Then set us aside. You owe us our own identity. They dishonor us. They mean ogres. Dishonor us! And you dishonor me by not showing some gratitude. I am the one who retrieved you from the gutter, from the pit of Zagaida's mistakes, remember? For what reason Zagaida fancied experimenting with mixing kinds, I don't know, and I don't think I want to know. And there you were, freaks. Half the product of Artscorp experiments and nuclear radiation from the dimension of the doom. Not man, not ogre, some odd mixture. Freaks! I could have had the whole fucking lot of you destroyed right there and then, but no. I welcomed you into the society. Some of you were missing arms. I had to somewhat accommodate you with their mechanical wizardry. And because ogre blood runs through your veins, your world's better than a grunt or enforcer could ever be. I don't see what you have to bitch about. If Shabnagarov still ruled here, she'd have a lot of you fed to the fiends or zombified. Have a little gratitude. We're not their equals. They're not your superiors either. We're not your equal either. I don't subscribe to your dangerous way of thinking. My apologies, my Samachian friends. I thank you for your services and gifts. That will be all. <laughs> Thankful they are so submissive, being that we took over their dimension and all. Fifteen now. Funny. Every time we take another, I feel no more wealthy or powerful than I did before. What are these? Gifts. They were a bit more advanced than the ogres when Shubnegarov found them. Some of their weaponry. I'm confused by this. I thought they lived with one another in peace. They use them for hunting primarily. There's confounded jaggers that they've allowed to seep into the other dimensions who raid our crops and endanger the rockfish population. That's least of our concerns. The humans, the green ones and the others. They've been restless, killing each other for sport. Yes, and I found it entertaining in the beginning, but it's wearing on my nerves. Them and those damn raids that continue to mindlessly collect souls because they don't know how to do anything else. Ogres bitching about rights, barons bitching about status, archgons bitching about gaunts, gaunts bitching about everybody, ogres threatening another rebellion, the headache never ends. Remember it was you who wanted this, but is it truly all this that's bothering you, or the fact that some worship Nahara higher than even you, or that many have fled to Nahara's dimension to avoid your rule? Don't remind me. He is only a beast. Slay him. Oh, 
Nahara may be a beast, but he's not stupid. Pacts have stipulations, General Galdrin. I cannot use the power he bestowed against him. That's a fact. I see. Well, enough of this talk of Nahara. You haven't called upon me in some time. Something on your mind. Yes, the solution to all the infighting. You're aware that the humans have begun to set up shop in this dimension. I think we've suffered that infestation long enough. I say we give the soldiers something to do. I haven't seen human blood spilled in much too long. The memory of its flavor is all but gone. That's nothing like a little war to bring people together, I always say. Surely you're not serious, Max. You remember what happened last time. The dimension of the doom. Yes, because you attacked them on their homeland. But this is our homeland. And I'd rather not see the skies give way to tall cities and industries pumping filth into the atmosphere. It's inevitable. It's time to show them that they've worn out their welcome. And if they retaliate? They won't, because they can't. The highest priests are sealing the dimension as we speak. No entry. No exit. Unless we fancy one. The humans who have colonized here. They are the unfortunate examples we have to make. Let me get this straight. You want me to wake up Colonel Brown at one in the morning to tell him that Jack Torres had a bad dream? You're out of your mind. I am telling you it was very real. My dreams are not always just dreams. Right. Because you're some kind of psychic dude. He also smuggled in a weapon. Found some kind of katana in his room. It was there when I got there. A gift from General Blake. Enough about that stupid sword. I'm trying to prepare you for an attack. And now a guy is taking Quick's place. A guy named Max. You ain't taking hits off a crackpot, boy. Maybe you can all be serious for just a moment when someone is trying to tell you that your life is in danger. Ford City sits in the middle of a heartbeat of activity. You don't think for a moment it wouldn't happen sooner or later. What I know is that you got some of the boys on ground duty paranoid as hell for no good reason. You had no right to go up there yelling out those things. What the hell were you trying to do? Cause a scare? As a matter of fact, I was because I know I'm right about this. And how are we to know that this mystic mumbo jumbo crap is even legitimate? I told you to contact General Zachary Blake, or even Major Frida Cugino. It was just a dream, Mr. Torres. Move on! Lieutenant Mailer, you will escort Mr. Torres back to his room, and Mr. Torres will not leave that room until 0600, at which time he will be going home! Enough is enough! I've heard enough horseshit for one evening. Why wait? I'll go now. I'd rather not stick around and die with the rest of you imbeciles. The slip gates are shut down until 0600 and I am not going to authorize otherwise. It's bad enough you are willing to sacrifice yourself. If you have a death wish, that's fine. You just leave me out of it. Lieutenant Miller, take him now. As for the rest of you, if Mr. Torres tries to run off, shoot him. You have been forewarned, Mr. Torres. Thank you and good night! I'm sure you'll have come to your senses after some rest and waking to find out that nothing happened and it's business as usual. Think whatever you like. And by that time, I'll have not come to my senses. Because I will be dead. Just like you. The guy is a total freaking flake. Former Navy boy sitting out on those boats for months at a time does screwy things to the mind, word to the wise. That will be all, soldiers. What time is it, anyway? Shit, about 0400. You think they'll be attacking soon? Don't tell me you believe that crack pot. Hell no, I was trying to be humorous. Guess I failed. I wonder what it's like outside. Sometimes it mists really bad out there, I hear. 
Maybe you should try the radio again. Just tried the damn thing a few minutes ago when you said the same thing. No response. Not even dead air. We must be having technical problems. Or we're getting another one of those magnetic storms. Yeah, but it's been down for two and a half hours now. Maybe one of us should go up and see what's going on. They usually send someone up by now. I'm sure it's nothing. Besides, we're not supposed to leave our posts. If you're bored, why don't you go check on Lieutenant Miller? Make sure he doesn't doze off watching that guy. Might as well. It's not like there's anything else to do. Don't you ever sleep? Why don't you get on one of those bunks and rest up? I'll sleep plenty when I'm dead. <laughs> you're something else, Torres. So sure of yourself. Imagine how foolish you're going to feel when we go outside in a few hours and don't find pandemonium. Well, look at this. Jay Torres still on his feet. Has he been giving you any problems, Miller? Nah, he's just giving me the same spiel like a broken record. Why don't we radio the outside and ask him if we've been invaded yet, just for the sake of Mr. Torres's peace of mind. Maybe he'll sleep. Everything is fine out there. Though communications are a little bit screwy at the moment. Oh, and for how long has this been going on? A couple hours, it's nothing. This kind of thing happens all the time. Let me need to give you a little tidbit of history. Five years ago, and this all started at the Slipgate Complex installation at Termination Central. You know what happened to our bases before they were attacked. Every time, the communications went down. Look, I said everything is fine out there. No, you just assume because you can't check unless you go out there yourself. Maybe, uh, we ought to. Don't let this guy get in your head, Lieutenant Miller. Resume guard duty. Hey, Mikey, I just... Mike! This ain't even funny, Mike! Where you hiding? I wonder what that sound was. Sounding like a blaster, Lieutenant Miller. You don't happen to know of any Marines on his base who are commissioned blasters, do you? I didn't think so. Get in the closet. Why? I said get in the closet, grab a shotgun and ready that sword. Do whatever you gotta do to protect yourself if push comes to shove. But stay in the closet. Oh, I see Lieutenant Miller, but he's a crazy psychic at the last possible moment. It's probably an explanation. We got turrets that fire lasers, but don't take any chances. I'm not supposed to just guard you, but protect you, so get in the goddamn closet! The closet? I like how good that's going to do me. Don't make a sound. The question is, how long am I going to stay in this damn closet? 